What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. You know how they say we can only access 20% of our brain? Well, meet the man who's learned to pretty much access all of it. Lucas Owen is the founder of Ergogenic Health. He spent the last decade investigating some of the world's most obscure brain enhancing compounds and has been sharing them on his YouTube channel, podcast, and masterclasses. I thought I knew a thing or two about nootropics, and then I met Lucas. Driven by science and motivated by results, his work has caught the attention of some of the biggest players in the biohacking space, including Ben Greenfield. So that being said, I'm thrilled to have Lucas join me in today's episode to talk about the five nootropics you've probably never heard of, but definitely should know. We'll also unpack how to understand what your dopamine and serotonin levels are and what to look for when it comes to buying these performance enhancing compounds online. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. So as a quick disclaimer, we'll be talking about some heavy duty compounds for the brain. So this is not medical advice and please consult your physician if you're gonna make any lifestyle changes. And finally, if you leave this video craving even more, don't worry, Lucas has a two hour masterclass all about nootropics, which you can find in the show notes below. And as a special bonus for just this audience, he's offering you guys a special 20% discount code. Now, full disclosure, I make no money off of this. This is just my way of supporting Lucas and sharing the love with all of you. So that being said, let's kick things off with one of the world's first synthetic adaptogens, bromantane. Now this one actually has an interesting backstory. It was first developed in the 1970s to help Russian soldiers with endurance. Fast forward to modern day and you'll find people like Lucas researching it for its effects on mental and physical performance. And then I delved into the pharmacology, pharmacokinetics and realized that, oh, hang on, it's working on an epigenetic level to change the transcription of the enzymes that actually synthesize dopamine. And so then the day went on and, um, in the afternoon, I then went to my local playground to do a workout. And that was when I started noticing the benefits. And that's when I honestly felt, well, I genuinely felt like Superman. Like I just felt like I wasn't getting fatigued. My motivation was through the roof. My workout was amazing. Very different to like a pre-workout. So the only downside to this compound is it usually takes about four to six hours to kick in, but you only need a very small dose. And of course, if you wanna learn more about this compound or any of the other tropics we talk about in this episode, definitely head over to Lucas's website where he shares some very relevant information on dosage and recommendations for how to cycle on and off. Next up is a mentoflavone. Now this is a polyphenol so powerful that Lucas is actually calling it the next resveratrol because of its antioxidant properties and of course, cognitive effects. It actually reduces dysphoria and dysphoria is the opposite of euphoria. So basically, a mento flavone is really good for mood and um, mental clarity. Um, but then it's also a, a negative allosteric modulator of the GABA A receptor. By doing so, it's actually increasing alertness and vigilance and uh, a mento flavone can shift their general wakeful state into more of a heightened um, energetic tone. Now, interesting to note, this compound actually first took off with bodybuilders who were using it to build testosterone and increase blood flow. Nowadays, it is a bit harder to source on its own, but it still can be found in a lot of herbal supplements like St. John's wort and ginkgo biloba. Number three on Lucas's list is emoxipine. Now, this is another man-made compound from Russia that has a very similar chemical structure to that of vitamin B6. It was actually developed to counteract physical stressors like hypoxia or a low oxygen environment. But since it also works to regulate GABA and acetylcholine receptors in the brain, Lucas says this can also be a great go-to for anxiety provoking situations. It can be used during an acute stressful environment, for example, public speaking or mm. a job interview or something that's like where people generally feel anxious, it can be deployed under those sort of um, environments. Another lesser known but highly potent nootropic 
is an adaptogenic herb called Auralia. Now, Lucas calls it ginseng on steroids because of the stimulating effect it actually has on the brain. Now, since it's mainly used to help people with extreme chronic fatigue, Lucas says if you're going to use it as a nootropic, you're better off saving it for a very special occasion. I would save Auralia for something like match day. Like let's say, yeah, or competition day or something where they need to be 11 out of 10 arousal. Like just just full blown, like let's just get shit done or before like a, a, a 400 meter run or like a 4K run, that would be perfect to um, utilize Aralia. And finally, we come to a nootropic that's actually part of the berry family. These are actually dried schisandra berries, and you may have come across them at your local health food store. They've actually been used in traditional Chinese medicine for over 2,000 years to help combat stress and support healthy metabolism. But when you isolate just one constituent of this berry plant called schisandral A, you get a totally different effect on the brain. It heightened my focus like significantly. It felt like a, it felt like a stimulant. Did more research, ended up figuring out that schizandral A increases dopamine in a particular part of the brain called the striatum. Um, and when you increase dopamine in that part of the brain, it makes you like more goal oriented, like more driven towards a task or goal. Now it is worth noting that schizandral A is really hard to source on its own these days. But if you don't mind it in a blend, there's actually a pre-workout mix called Jack 3D that uses schizandral A in their formula. And I'll link that in the show notes below if you want to go check that out. Now, one of the things I've struggled with when it comes to nootropics is really understanding which of my neurotransmitters need the most help. I mean, there's no simple at-home test that tells you what your serotonin, GABA, or dopamine levels are at least not yet. So as a solution, Lucas actually has two recommendations. Number one, make a list of your symptoms and see where they fall when it comes to neurotransmitter excesses or deficiencies. And number two, don't just stop with the brain. We need to actually look outside the brain because really, for example, um, serotonin promotes gastrointestinal motility. So that's sort of how we can match up. We can be like, oh, hang on. How how come activated charcoal is making me feel menti mentally clear, but this is not designed to affect the brain. It's because it's affecting it in the gut. And finally, when it comes to buying these compounds online, not all nootropics are made equal. So tip number one, be careful when it comes to some of these no name brands on Amazon that sound just way too good to be true. And number two, we want to make sure that these companies provide a certificate of analysis with each batch. Basically it's a third party company that will test the purity and quality of the compound that's being synthesized. And then they give them that report when they distribute the product. Again, Lucas is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to all things nootropics and ergogenic health. I highly recommend you guys check out his YouTube channel, podcast, and of course, masterclass. All of those links will be in the show notes below. Thank you again so much for watching. If you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and then hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.